for the link arm. I'm in a new part studio. Let's put a sketch on the front plane. Let's start with a circle centered at the origin with a diameter of 0.375. And then let's come out here a ways where it's connected to the origin. So it's horizontal. And we're going to sketch another circle, diameter 0.375. And then let's dimension between those two center points, which must be three and a half inches. So those two center points being on center at three and a half inches, that is critical. So now let's sketch a horizontal line connected to the other circle. You're going to get the horizontal line symbol. And let's draw another horizontal line. In this one, I'm making a little closer to the origin of the x-axis just to demonstrate one of the some of the new tools that we have here. And I want to use the equal constraint. Up here is our numerical constraint where we give dimensions to things. And then to the right of that are all kinds of geometric constraints. So the equals constraint, I'll make those two line segments equal to each other. So we saw one of them kind of jumped into place. The order matters in the way you click them, but I still need to put a height dimension on that anyways, because that needs to be a height of 0.25 inches. Okay, so that makes that and keeps that symmetrical. And then we could go ahead and draw another circle, diameter of 0.128 on both ends, which will give me the hole that I need. Finish the sketch, extrude, and make sure we extrude the donuts and the arm, a distance of 0.125 inches. And that's the link arm.